angrily Christian took streets of Rumbek town protesting the shooting of Bishop elect Father Christian Kalzar, who was shot on Sunday night by two unidentified gunmen at his residence at Holy Family Cathedral. The protest is led by civil society. They condemn the act and call upon the state and the national government to bring the culprit to book. They conclude with the call for uniform disarmament of civil population in South Sudan. Responding to protesters at Lake State Secretariat, Governor Makur Kolang says the government is more concerned to bring the perpetrators to justice. Meanwhile, Inspector General of Police, General Majanga King Malok, who led the high-profile delegation for investigation formed by President Ki recently, says the incident is shameful act promising that those involved will soon be brought to book. In regard to the unfortunate shooting, of Reverend Father Christian Kalasra, Bishop-elect of Catholic Diocese of Rumbek, on the night of Sunday, 25th April 2021, with the undersigned civil society organization network in Lake State, do here condemns the target attack on the Bishop-elect Reverend Father uh, Kalasra in his residence within the church compound. We ask the article to swiftly respond to a call of the state, disarm and protect, particularly the three states of Warab, Lake State, and Unity, which has become the major state with armed youth in conflict. As a government of Lake State and the government of national transitional unity, we have also, we are protesting in our heart for the action happened to our Reverend Bishop. The government is concerned, both the national and the state, and that's why you have seen they have sent a high profile delegation from Juba, headed by the IGF with his delegation, and you have seen a number of uh, officers around, they came from Juba for this particular incident. So we are here uh, to say thank you for your peaceful de demonstration, and we wanted to inform the world that, and the entire Southern Sudanese, that we are working hard to bring this culprit to justice. Well, we have just arrived to Lake State, Rumbek, uh, this morning from Juba. And we have been uh, actually sent by His Excellency the President to come and acquaint them ourselves with the government of Lake State about the tragic incident that happened here in Lake State, in Rumbek, three days back, that resulted to a shooting of the bishop elect, which was an attempt of assassinating him in Lake State. And we considered uh, these attempts was actually condemned at the highest terms in which our President, His Excellency General Salva Kiri Mayadid, the President of the Republic of South Sudan, who sent us to come and make, make fact finding in Lake State, has been condemning this in the strongest term possible. Whereas I will not tell you our plan in the, in the media but let me assure you that those who might have uh, committed these crimes, the tragic incident that happened in Lake State, which is not actually wanted and we condemned it, they will be brought to book. And the government of Lake State have started already arresting the, the people related to the case. And those people who are still at large, they will be also apprehended. And in the headquarters, we are in a position to assist and support and supervise to make sure into it that these culprits are actually arrested and they will be brought to book. Bishop Bile Christian Kalazar is taking treatment at Kenyan Capital Nairobi for Rumbek Broadcast TV. Thomas Thorn in Rumbek Lake State.